Okay, well, back to the FA Cup, unfortunately. Um, wasn't a great time last round, simply because managers not playing their full teams, not full-strength sides, and results all over the place. Um, hopefully now we've got a, a stage further. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll know a little bit more about what we're going to get. And, uh, you know, you've got to think about you know, teams who really want to want to have a little bit of a cup run. And, you know, involved in relegation battles, your Swansea's, your Brighton's, your West Brom's, your Saints, you know, your Huddersfield. Surely they, you know, they, they want to have a bit of a cup run as well. You don't have to forsake the FA Cup to stay in the Premier League. It's a complete misnomer, that is. Um, anyway... Let's uh, let's stop. Sheffield Wednesday, Swansea. Uh, Swansea, as we say, have been been very decent over the last three or four weeks since they've changed the manager. Uh, Carlos Carvajal has done done extremely well. Um, Sheffield Wednesday at home always a tough place to go. They'll they'll go full strength. We know that. Um, hopefully Swansea will will as well. I'm going to go for a score draw in this one at seven to two. So score draw. Um, so I think Swansea will do enough. They might not want a replay, but they'll certainly take one. Brighton versus. Coventry. Uh, I'm going to go for Brighton to win this game without conceding. I think it's a really, really good bet um, at five to six. They're they're particularly tough to play at, against at home. They keep the ball. I can't really see Coventry having an awful lot of possession. Um, I think Brighton will make this a tough tough game for them. I can't see them conceding five to six. Brighton to win without conceding. West Brom Saints. I'm just going to go for a draw here. So 23 to 10. West Brom and Saints. Both these teams could uh, could do with uh, staying in the cup and having a little cup run. So 23 to 10. The draw. West Brom Saints. Huddersfield versus United. Uh, obviously Huddersfield beat United in the league. Um, United weren't at their best. Uh, they are not going to want to get beat in this. Certainly after recent results. Um, they want to get back on track. I think they'll be too good for Huddersfield, albeit Huddersfield had a great result the other day against Bournemouth. I'm going to go for Man United minus one, which is 13 to 10. If you want to go minus two, it's seven to two, but I'm going to go for minus one. So United have to win the game by two games or more. If they win it by one goal, you get your money back. If they win it by two, you win your money. 13 to 10, United to win by uh, over one goal. Uh, Rochdale versus Spurs. Um, you could have made a strong case for Rochdale if they kept that bog of a pitch, but unfortunately, I don't know why they've changed it. They've made it into a decent surface, and that's going to be the thing for that I think Spurs are going to really enjoy. Um, so I'm going to go for Rochdale as plus two. I've been really, really strong on this one, I've got to say. Um, but uh, with the pitch and the surface it is, I'm going plus two simply because Spurs and, and the game that they had obviously in, in midweek at, at Juventus and what, what a real tough game that was. So I think that might take a little bit out of them. The plus side for Spurs is the pitch, the negative side is the game they've just had. I'm going to go for top, uh, Rochdale plus two, which is 17 to 10. And I'm going to finish off with a treble of Southend, who are in really good form under the new manager, Scunthorpe and Brighton, which comes in at a uh, handy six to one. South End, Scunthorpe, Brighton at six to one. Okay, it'll be my treble. A um, little bit, uh, should we say, um, shorter this week simply because, as I say, FA Cup, and it's so, so difficult. Wait to see the teams before you have a bet in the competition. Good luck to everyone.